Are you ready? All right. All right. Welcome to Facility Files. My name is Elizabeth Ignatowitz, and today I have... I'm Jeff Rizzo with EDS. <laughs> Welcome. Is it, I mean, are we okay to be, can yes. I be myself? Yes, okay. yes, please I didn't even yourself. know you started recording, so sorry. Hey, everybody. Yeah, 43 seconds in. All right, here we go. I can edit this down. All right, but today. Keep, keep the good stuff in there, though. I mean, I just keep, I mean, if you're going to make this about the way that the facility managers are, it's got to be good and weird, too, so. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I oh, can't no. hear it anymore. Oh, shit. It just died. Take two. <laughs> Do you have batteries? <laughs> is it true? Is it batteries? Yes, batteries? it is batteries. Double A. Fuck. <laughs> it wouldn't be <laughs> our show without them dying. What's your emergency? We need, <laughs> we need batteries. <laughs> <sighs> okay, right. where were we? Take two. <laughs> Welcome to Facility Files. I am Elizabeth Ignatowitz, and Jeff Rizzo is checking his phone. I'm going to turn this off so I don't have to do that. I am Jeff Rizzo with Environmental Diversified Services, EDS. And what did EDS used to stand for? Um, emergency Disaster Services, Environmental Drying Services. It was a number of different companies over the years that it's turned into now environmental diversified services. I So I have a question. Okay. What is your favorite disaster to take care of or emergency call? What are your favorites? Any and all. <laughs> um, what's my favorite? I, I've been doing this a long time. My favorite, looking back, it used to be any job, right? Because it was always fun to do work and we always are doing work but it's it's the challenging ones it's a different ones i like regional events a couple of years ago when was it last christmas when it got so cold and all the pipes yeah. broke so or those two christmases ago yeah so those regional events are fun for me it it's gets, just go 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 i think we did a lot right i mean it was, there's 176 hours in a week we did not sleep for 120 of those hours yeah right so 50 hours of sleep over seven days is not a lot but that when we're busy 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 is fun yeah um the other component of that the flip side of that is for the facility managers right <laughs> people love to see us come they love to see us go and they don't ever want to see us again because it's always an emergency yeah it's always your worst day it's always a ton of money it, it you're spending a ton of money i get yeah. that you know and, and it and it you know I, I know we've done blood cleanups and and different my favorite story okay yeah, yeah, yeah my favorite story i called jeff to clean up some blood and he goes emergency he takes care of it. it's great sends me a huge bill and i said for what a little drop of blood now it was more but i just love giving him hell over the cost for a little drop of blood i never said i never said it was going to be inexpensive everything we do it costs money and, and the, the reality of it is and jeff's response i cost what i cost <laughs> <laughs> I hate and you didn't it. have to touch it i well valid points <laughs> yeah okay well I haven't in a while, but I have touched it, and I will touch it again. I'm certain of it. But well, that, that was your point to me. Like you didn't have to touch it, Elizabeth, and but, I cost what I cost. Right? Did you? You did. You weren't dressing up in a suit. Do you want to go do that? I didn't have to go, go at ten o'clock at night. Right. Um, but you ask about what the fun ones are. Those are the fun ones for me. I like challenges. I like the, you know our world. We look at what is the what is the emergency for the facility manager today. Yeah, you had blood. Today we're cleaning homeless camps around mm -hmm. town, which seem to be coming up more and more and more and more. What's the environmental impact for homeless camps? And those are sad scenarios, right? right? And it, it's, I'll tell you the ones that I don't like are the ones that have emotion tied to them. Yeah. If we're talking dollars and cents, dollars and cents is easy. There's no emotion with that. It, it, it you know, I need this done as fast as I can get it done so I don't have business interruption, right? right? It's the one that have emotion to it. I don't remember the blood story, but we've had blood stories where, you know, multifamily complexes that, you know, murder suicides. And right. People, there, there was one that, that comes back that really touches me that, that uh, the guy's life insurance policy was up the day after. He was a cancer survivor. He was a cancer patient, and he he took his own life. And we had to go in and clean that up. And, and I was good 
cleaning the blood. We're, we're going to protect ourselves. The PPE, you know, cleaning up blood is not an inexpensive thing because of what the potential hazard of the blood, mm -hmm. right? But when you talk about scraping a man's brains off the wall, yeah, and you can delete this, but it it those are the pieces that are that are that I don't enjoy is the emotional piece, and those stay with you forever. And and genuinely, it's it's the reason why you know we don't do residential work anymore is because there, and I say residential, we don't do single family home, right? Because there's so much emotion tied to it. Yeah, and I just got emotional about that, right? But I don't understand grandmother's heirlooms real well. Mm. Right. So everything you do when you go into a home is all emotion. Yeah. It's in and then I mean this is where people live, right? Businesses the businesses, the facility managers are dealing with more and handling more of what's my impact of business. Get yeah. me back as quick as possible and, and take the emotion away. My building's flooded. I need it done right now. Have your disaster plan ready. Know who to call, know who your electricians are and, and go beyond just an emergency service company, you know, what are, you know, what are the impacts to the people that are going to get here? Yeah. Um, if we're talking about a mother nature and we're talking about snow and ice and cold and what are the people dealing with when their own homes also needs to go into that plan? Right. How's the CEO getting to work today? Don't know. He can't get here. His house is flooded. What impact goes down the line? So it's not just a matter of that emergency service company. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I know you and I have had some fun stories together without naming clients or identifying them. I know like you spoke about the winter storm that happened a couple Christmases ago. It froze overnight, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, things started thawing out and then shit hit the fan and we were all running. I have a newborn baby at home dealing with this all at the same time, mm. calling Jeff saying, I have such and such flooding. Here's pictures. I need you to, and I was very specific with him on what I needed. I needed him to open up a wall. I had water shut off at that point. I needed cleanup. Then I was scheduling the plumbing repairs. Then I needed him to go back and fix it. We actually kind of got into a little spat over it. <laughs> and I made I you go back. Remember, I made you go back and then you didn't want to pick up the work order and we had to have an argument about it? Nashville. Yes. Yeah. It got yeah. done. It's, it's, it did. It's, it's it did. With. I don't remember. I don't remember the whole thing. But it, it there was matter. just there was uh, one Areas. minor. There was one minor detail that the guys needed to finish up. So I sent them a, a warranty ticket, and we oh, had a little argument God. about it. I'm still mad about that. <laughs> really? I mean, I'm I really mean, not. I completely. You didn't. Be, you must be still holding it because I forgot all about it. Honestly, it was just really funny. I, actually, Sophie and I joke about it all the time about how you made her wait to pick up that work order, and then it was late, and then I wouldn't extend it because I was equally being. A jerk back and forth. <laughs> I think we ended up doing it, but we were... It got us nowhere. <laughs> we were both just arguing over nothing. Over a piece of Cove base. It was Nashville, Cove base. Nashville, Tennessee. Now you're going to make me bring it back up. Rizzo, can you go to Nashville for some warranty work? I didn't even take that piece of Cove base off is what it boils down to. Anyway, that Cove base. <laughs> um, talk but, about more emergency. Okay, so so we, we dealt with that. I got mad about... Let's go back to Nashville. I did get mad about that. And I, it wasn't that I even got mad about it. It's that I didn't have a solution for it in the moment. Yeah. And how was I going to get back to Nashville? That's what I was figuring out in my mind was to take that off of your plate so you didn't have to deal with it. I didn't care. At the, at the point, it wasn't about whose fault it was. It's how do I get back to Nashville to do it? Yeah. And what's the most cost-effective way for all of us to do it. So one, I can do it under warranty, not have to bill, not have to, whether it was my fault it didn't go back up or whoever's fault it was, it didn't get put back up and we needed to figure it out. Yeah. And I didn't have it figured out in that moment. But then when it got done, it, it's done. And again, I, you brought it back up. I forgot <laughs> all about it. I've got a story for you. New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Feces is, feces is just feces. It's just dookie. It's just a turd, right? It's kind of gross. Yeah. Let's talk about smells and odors. See, I'm not a smell and odor girl, man. Those get me. So I can look at it all day long. Imagine this, okay? And this is the stinkiest smell I've ever smelled in my life. And we've smelled bodies that have been sitting in cars for cooking and, you know, the, the Charlotte heat and 
for weeks before they were found and you know mm-hmm. it, it stinks the dead body's death is is just a bad smell and it's, it's a smell that never leaves you hurricane katrina new orleans we did a it was a i can't say names but it was co- it was a coffee manufacturer in new orleans in the ninth ward the lower ninth ward of new orleans and they had for whatever reason when the floodwaters came up there was this big encaged fence for the parking area and it was a big area you know a couple football fields of area okay and when the water came up the water went back down and the eels you know what an eel is yeah when i say eels there was 18 inches to two feet of eels stop in it. this parking lot over the entire area it was disgusting oh and we're God. in new orleans in october hot hot asphalt and all this mm. stuff was just baking and cooking until we got there right <laughs> That's, mm, you're getting me. And it didn't, and it wasn't bad until we started moving them. Moving them. Mm-hmm. And it will never leave my nose. That's, that's one. The other one happened in New Orleans, too. Here's something. Here's something. In our world, I don't eat at restaurants, really. I, I try not to because I know how you gross know. they are behind there. I don't really like mayonnaise because I know how it's manufactured. <laughs> And I, I've seen the big vats down in, in the bottom of the manufacturing place that was filled with water, just gross, disgusting New Orleans water. Sorry, anybody in New Orleans, if you're listening, but that's a dirty town before Katrina and after. And if you put that in there, you certainly can. Because they know, right? Everybody, in, if you've ever been to New Orleans, New Orleans has got a smell. Okay, you got to scooch back over. I'm sorry. You're sorry, like scooching sorry. out of the frame. Sorry, yeah. I can't see it anymore, which is good. Mayonnaise. But you won't eat mayonnaise, coffee. It's it's luckily that I, I there's certain things that you got to put out of your head because there are some things in life that you got to enjoy. Uh-huh. But coffee was one. Mayonnaise is gross. Probably the most nastiest thing is non dairy coffee creamer. Really? Yeah. In the way that it's made, there's always fires in the facilities, and there you go for all the other restoration companies. Go find a non dairy coffee creamer manufacturer. They have fires in them, but they're, it's disgusting. And when we did, this has been years ago, way back in the late nineties when we did these, when you got done working at the end of the day, that, uh, that compound of that stuff that it's just powder and it's flammable. Take it's be a fun trick when you go to a bonfire over the weekend, put some coffee creamer on there and you'll see a big flame. It's better than I'm gasoline. I'm a science experience yeah, with my kids It's kind of that. fun. Yeah. But the little pellets that you see inside of that coffee creamer is not an it shouldn't be an edible treat it's probably either cockroaches or rats stop it i I can't make it up and i wouldn't make it up but and i'm anyway it's it's i mean i do know like the fda standards allows so many like cricket legs and chocolate and stuff like that so it doesn't surprise me and it's so it was so gross but that's why i drink black coffee is because i won't drink non-dairy coffee creamer anyway so (laughs) I love these stories. Yeah, then they keep coming. So anyway, we'll go. What else? What else we got? To, what else? Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. That's all I have written down because we're flying by the seat of our pants at this point. Okay, well. You keep going. I can, and I. I mean, I, if I was walking around in a circle, I would have keep going. But stories. For wrap up, we've told some funny stories, so we don't really need to end with a Is funny there any story. Any serious? I mean, you almost had me crying about a dead body. Aww. I'm sorry. Emotion. You're the second. Guess that I've almost had in tears. It must be something about me. <laughs> what I, I I do that because of this. Facility managers have a tough job, period. Yeah. And 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 in, in what we all do. And I think, you know, for me, I'm gonna answer my phone and uh, make it lighthearted because that's the only way I know how. Yeah. Um I deflect with humor. I a hundred percent. And and deflection of with humor is a good place to go because we deal with again what i said before people love to see us come they love to see us go they don't ever want to see us again because it's historically your bad day yeah and most of the time what we're dealing with or what we're what we're doing in your building y'all have never seen and it's typically once or twice in a career that you see it but you see it day in day out we see it day in and day out so it's like okay how can i project to you that we got it i got you um, and be level-headed in, in that time of need. And 
only ask a few questions because the more questions that we ask in that initial phone call tends to get the other side worked up. I don't know, just get here. Yeah, were you around before emails? Heck yeah. I, was just, I mean, when I originally started. Did you have a beeper? I had a pager. I love that. And a, a uh, what were those phones? Brr. Come in. Hello. The oh, walkie- the Sprint? No, it was a. Um, talk to text? Well, talk to text. But everything we're saying is how we've evolved in business, and communication shouldn't be a, a thing. Email. It, it, but the hardest part about in our world today is the instant gratification. Yeah. Right? That everybody wants it now. Right. It used to be I had to get a page that would go off. 911 911 I'm so sorry and I'd read that page and then I'd have to stop at a pay phone from make sure I had a quarter to call whoever was paging me oh you got to get to Concord to the hospital in Concord as quick as you can okay well as quick as we can was back then an hour and a half to two hours sometimes two and a half to three hours now it's I'm sending a text and if you don't answer your text message I'm going to the next person on the list. Anyway, just communicate. And why can't I think of that? Um, man, I guess I'm getting old. What was the name of that phone? I don't you know. You don't remember? I was too young. I remember I'm a baby. I remember the Sprint talking text. Nextel. Well, yeah, so Sprint was bought, it bought Nextel? Nextel. Yeah. It was like that yellow phone. Mm, well, there was a, it was a talk to text. I don't remember. <laughs> it, it was I didn't have walkie-talkie. one. walkie-talkie. That was before I got a cell phone. My first one was a like a Nokia. I had one of those, like the box one. I used yeah. to put it in my pocket. Yeah, we used to call them the theft deterrent phones because no one wanted to steal it and you could throw it at someone like in an emergency <laughs> if you needed to get away and it would actually hurt them and not break. <laughs> now they just carry guns. <laughs> well, I was a runner, so like that we're was... Not, we're not going to no. go any run. Get it. It's not a good <laughs> Uh-uh. All right, let's wrap it up right. today. Yeah, no uh, guns. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yeah. And um, my plug for the podcast, if you can rate and review this podcast where you listen to it, it helps us with the rankings. If you like us, please let us know. If you don't like us, please don't let me know. I'm not interested. I love what you're doing. Um, I had to say, I think did I say this yet? I was I'm proud, right? I'm Thank glad you. To, glad that you made it and kicked off and did it and doing it and you are doing it. So and job. and just for anyone that doesn't know, I actually pitched this idea to Jeff right when I came back from maternity leave. I've been sitting on it for about a year, and I said, Jeff, let's do this. Be my co-host, and Jeff was like, Absolutely not. <laughs> and I a co-host. I don't. I, I, but anyway. And yeah. then he said, Think on that, Elizabeth. And you call me back a year later and said, Why haven't you started it? And I said, Because you told me it was a bad idea. Or at least in my head, that's what I heard. It wasn't a bad idea. It was a great idea. I love the podcast. I. It, it, so it, Jeff it, said, Just let's get it done. Do it. I How appreciate do do it. it. You're it's welcome. A push. You're welcome. Thank you. Good job. I All love right. it. Thanks, and uh, we'll talk next week. Sounds good. Bye. Bye. I got to take a breath. Drink some coffee. Drink some coffee. Okay. I asked you if I could walk around the room and talk to make me sit here. It's like getting my hair cut with people putting the thing over me and strapping me into a chair, making you sit.